Cooler Master introduces new fanless 850 watts power supply. AIM's new game bundle features Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2 and Unknown 9 Awakening. Lossless scaling to get 4 times frame generation update this week. And lastly, AIM is preparing their Navi 33 based GPUs, which are entry level. Okay, so firstly, we have the Cooler Master X Silent Edge Platinum 850 Fanlex ATX 3.1 full modular PSU here. And of course, this is a Silent Edge, meaning it has no fans exactly so this particular psu is rated at 850 80 plus platinum coming with a 90 degree angle 12 vhpw 450 watts pcie 5.1 connector and the interesting part is that the gpu support they're saying is that rtx 4090 and 5090 so this 850 watts power supply will be enough for a 5090 i guess because that is the rated here we already know that rtx 5090 will have a tdp of 500 watts so maybe it is enough considering the tdp but will it be 500 watts or will it consume even more power not sure about that but we'll see about that yeah 15 years of warranty so that's crazy amount of warranty there the only problem is is the pricing which is 488 a pretty expensive power supply that is for sure because with that price you can buy a particular gpu that you can want from either nvidia or amd so yeah it's a pretty expensive power supply but not only that it's 80 plus platinum rated which 850 watts i think it should have been a thousand watts then maybe this was more of a justified pricing but i'm not sure if this is a very good pricing or not or even close to good because this is way too expensive the funny thing is you, you also have a cheaper version of that which is the 1600 watts 80 plus platinum but it's cheaper 309 and it also supports gpu which is rtx 4090 and 5090 so no idea what is happening there that they're going for something like this but that expensive so maybe just because of the park silence it will have a pricing like that but i don't think it's really worth it but if you're you know interested in that silent build you can grab that although not a good investment next up amd is featuring two game bundles for particular amd ryzen and radeon gpu so let's look into it this game bundle is for the unknown 9 awakening and war hammer 40,000 space marine 2 that is the two new upcoming games that will be releasing soon and now aim is basically partnering up with them so currently these are the processors and gpus that support this bundle so as you can see all the eligible amd products are the 7000 series not 9000 series yet but i'm guessing they will be adding it soon because you know 9000 series will be releasing pretty soon i'm pretty sure of that so they will add that hopefully but currently it only supports the 7000 series for basically the cpus and the gpus as you can already tell and yeah you can get both of these two games which is the warhammer 40,000, space marine 2 and unknown 9 awakening we also have the laptop series which is the amd ryzen 7000 seri series and also the gpus that include with the laptop obviously the 7000 series again so they're going for that particular product listed here for these two particular games i'm really looking to play the warhammer 40,000 because it's just warhammer 2 space marine 2 so of course it's going to be very exciting to play that definitely not sure about unknown 9 awakening however but still you can get the games for these particular products next up, we have an interesting article from wcc after and they will be talking about the lossless scaling from generation we already know what lossless scaling from generation is it basically utilizes the same amd fsr technology but even better definitely and yes the amd fsr frame generation tech is also used here but now they're quadrupling the frame rate in all pc games usually how lossless scaling works is that it will support any game basically works as a third party software and you can use that to boost your fps basically double it in the current generation of the software definitely however you need to cap your frame rate half of your monitor's refresh rate so if you have a 60 hertz monitor you have to have 30 fps cap or if it's a 144 you need to, you need 80 fps cap or even 79 fps cap i'll make a d detailed video about lossless scaling for better understanding later on so don't, don't forget to subscribe but now we have the lossless scaling getting a quadruple frame rate according to the new update that will be coming this week so this is the particular showcase they're showcasing in the forza horizon 5 basically and as you can tell it's a it's a quadrupling the fps here but if you look closely in the corner we have 30 slash 120 as you can tell so this particular mode basically quadruples the fps and as i said you have to restrict your fps meaning you, you have to capture game fps to half of your frame rate basically if you have a 60 
60 f 60 hertz monitor you have to play in the 30 fps mode but the thing is it's not too bad considering the base frame rate will be quadrupled to four times meaning it will be constant 30 fps smooth it will feel like you're playing at the, ga the game at 120 fps you know when you quadruple the 30 fps game of course but still it's a huge improvement and i will be making a video about this so yeah we'll see about that and lastly we have the amd preparing their navi 33 based entry level gpus two of them of course which is the radeon rx 7400 and the rx 7300 so basically similar to the previous generations 6500 xt or even 6400 but this time we have 7400 and 7300 no 7500 xt or anything so that is quite interesting i'm guessing 7400 will be replacing the naming scheme of the 7500 or having the same tier gpu level probably and of course for 6400 case we will have we will have rx 7300 we'll see about that so this is the leak coming from the user at komachi and saka of course and we have the radeon rx 7400 and rx 7300 no specs have been leaked here but just the uh, id which is the 7499 probably giving you the sense that it's going to be navi 33 as mentioned here so yeah it basically uses the same skew which is the 7600 xt and non-xt variants but it's going to be a lower tier version definitely because the name would suggest that so video cars have done a comparison list here of course so according to video cars they're expecting the 7400 would be having less than 2048 well obviously but how much less we have no idea about that but as you can see that 7600 xt and 7600 already has 2048 stream processors when you look into the 6500 xt from previous generation it had only 1024 stream processors basically half of that so will it be the same case for the 7400 i am not sure really but we'll see about that because the 6400 here as you can see had only only had 768 stream processors very much entry level and probably unplayable for any game because current games will not support any of that or will will support it just it's not going to be playable you know what i mean but yeah 7400 might have 1024 because we're not looking at any 7500 xt or 7500 so my guess would be they're going to be going for the same skew but if you know in future they bring in the 7500 i'm guessing they will stick with the numbers right over here for the 6500 xt so my guess is that they're going to stick with 7400 with the 6400 which is 768 but it seems too low but again we don't know for sure what's gonna change so yeah very much entry level gpus are coming real soon don't know which audience they're targeting at least not the gamers of course